So why do configuration with 12D? Post-training, we found it really beneficial to conduct configuration with our clients. It gets it done while the training is fresh in the users' minds, and the system administrators get to do the configuration with the guidance of the trainer. Users are able to use the trainer's experience to help get the setup they desire by using the 12D Synergy features to the best ability. Also helps our clients start using 12D Synergy earlier. The time is set up to get it configured, so there's no worry about fitting it in amongst your workload later on. Then before you know it, a month has passed, two months, etc., and you're still not using 12D Synergy. It's just sitting there on your server, and of course, your colleagues will also be forgetting the training as well. So how do we configure 12D Synergy in your business? Well, first things first, we show you how to give user access to the system. We'll also show you how to add other contacts. From there, we set up the job layout of your system, and this also includes standard folder structures. Permissions, this one's an important one. Without them, no one can see any data or edit anything without them. So how and where do you want to apply them? When having a look at the system settings, we also show you how to set up things like active checkout screens, set up automatic history comments with change descriptions, also task types if you require them, and other general settings. Now finally, there's the attributes, a very powerful addition to 12D Synergy that can be used to add extra information, search, or insert into files and data. So let's have a look in more detail now. So adding of users. Of course, for your users to access the system, we show the administrators how to assign them a license, set what type of user they will be, and if they need to have a different module. We'll also show you how to edit these details or remove a user from the system. We'll also show you how to add external contacts and, if required, how to link them to a company. When it comes to job tree structure, we'll have a look at your requirements and we'll implement a layout to suit. Is there a need for more than one top-level job? What header jobs do you, does your company require? Then we look to start setting up your job template or templates. Depend. This includes adding your required folder structures to suit. This is often a good opportunity for your company to review this. For more information on setting up a job structure and folder structures, please review our previous webinar, Folder Structure Best Practices. You can, this can be found on our YouTube channel or the link can also be located on the 12d.com website. Also, as part of setting up a template, we can set up a base list of team roles that can be used on that job or project. Team roles are great for assigning tasks to, or you can even use them for permissions in deciding who gets access to this particular job. Forums are a great way to communicate with the project team. If you wish to use this feature, we will also add the forum names to suit your uses. To help separate the transmittals, it's always great to create the appropriate issue file types in the templates as well. For example, if you wish to view all items that have been issued to a client, simply go to the client area under issue files. As mentioned earlier, permissions is key to your people being able to first see the data and then secondly, being able to edit it. How many permissions are required is always dependent on each company, but we will evaluate how best to apply them, whether it be via the user, adding users to a particular group, or assigning a user to a role. In any of these cases, the easiest way to apply permissions is by setting up the permission sets. 
This makes it easier than choosing the types of permissions for every job and every folder. We also go through the definitions of what undefined, allow and denied will mean. Permissions can be applied in every job and folder if they are required to be different. Again, having the benefit of just ticking a permission set is the easiest, but they can also be overwritten by the explicit permissions. There are many different ways to apply permissions. Possibly, and this can also speed up applying permissions, you can use the inherit options at either the job level or the folder level. 12D Synergy is very easy to set up. However, it's always wise to know what the settings can do for you. On top of that, there are features in the administrator tool that can make using and the use for your colleagues easier. Other tools that we help get set up are the active checkout closing rules, aka the NAG screen. This warns you or can force you to check in any items that you have left checked out before exiting 12D Synergy. This is important so that your data is backed up on the server and or if you are away the next day, your checkout doesn't prevent others from accessing that file or data. The change descriptions is also handy so that your users don't have to type repetitive messages in the history comments. Instead, they can just select. As noted earlier, attributes are a very handy way of adding more properties. This will help provide more details to our jobs, folders and files. Attributes can be inserted into files, therefore you never have to worry about typing the wrong details. They can also be used to create naming rules for your files or to help describe your files. For example, is the file under review or has it been approved? Or maybe it's just an issue number for things like CAD drawings. We will also show you how you can use attributes to automatically fill out documents. For example, using a word template with matching attribute fields so that they then populate with the job's values once brought into that job. There are also system attributes to set up like 12D model project attributes, company and contact attributes. These again help provide extra details. The email tracing in Synergy is a great feature and to use this a stamp referencing an attribute or attributes requires setting. Likewise with an issuing file attribute. Again this provides more detail like why something is being issued. The final steps with the job templates and attributes is to link them together. Upon job creation we will show you how to choose the desired template using an attribute and also how using those attributes can automatically name your job. With 12D Model and CAD, if required, we can also assist in setting up your 12D Model libraries for use in 12D Synergy and how to use sharing in Synergy too. We can also show how to XREF CAD, drawing, CAD drawings using Synergy paths and how the 12D Synergy plugin toolbar works.